Right, P4, international level, Jan 2023. It's question five, we've got a bit of implicit differentiation to do here. Uh, we've got this curve, y squared equals 2x squared plus 50x plus 10y. We're going to get dy by dx in terms of x and y's. And we're going to find out where where uh, P and Q are. The, it says the, uh, the curve is not defined. There's no curve in that bit between P and Q. Um, and uh, we're going to find what P and Q are. Right, so a bit about uh, implicit differentiation to start off with. Uh, so if we're differentiating y squared in terms of x, right, we sort of uh, do it in terms of y to start off with, so we sort of pretend it's an x, and then multiply by dy by dx. So it's just like the chain rule, really. Um, these dy's kind of cancel and our dy squared over dx. Um, so we'll differentiate in terms of y uh, to get 2y and then multiply by dy by dx. And that's what this term is going to be. I start off with differentiating both sides in terms of x. So I get this on the left hand side. Uh, that one's just going to be 4x plus 15. And this one, 10 times dy by dx. Um, and then I do a bit of rearranging. Isolate the dy by dx's. Take this term over the left hand side. Uh, take it out as a factor. Uh, and then divide by the, the, the factor. And I get this fraction. And that's, uh, that's 4 marks. Uh, some people have a habit of writing dy by dx equals at the start. I'm going to show you the mark scheme for this question. Uh, four marks. There's a method mark for uh, differentiating one of the y terms, and then doing it all right. So to get to get to this sort of, sort of second line, really, to do that out all right, you get that second mark. But the third mark, it says the differential expression must contain exactly two dy by dx terms, one from each of the y terms, not an extra dy by dx. So if you've written that, you'd have lost this method mark and hence lost the uh, final mark as well. So you just got two marks out of four. Uh, so don't write uh, dy by dx at the start. Um, then it says we've got to find out what p and q are. Uh, now at a maximum or, or a minimum, uh, the gradient, the tangent, the tangents are horizontal, so the gradients are zero. Uh, so we'd make the top line equal to zero to make dy by dx zero. Um, just here and here, though, um, it's sort of the opposite, really. Um, the dy by dx is huge, enormous math error, undefined, infinity, some people call it, um, which means we make the bottom line equal to zero. Um, and then that makes the fraction undefined then. So, we're, so the y is going to be equal to 5. Um, we're going to find the x value, though. So we're going to sub it back into the original equation. 5 squared, 2x squared, 15x plus 50. Simplify that a little bit. You probably just stick that in your calculators. I'm the old-fashioned type, so I'm going to factorise it. Uh, 5, 5 is 25. 2x times x. So the x values are minus 5 over 2 and minus 5. Um, so that's the minus 5 is the p, then. And the Q is minus 5 over 2.